Yeah, I mean it's tough. Um, Shane Duffy's been been unbelievable for this country, and he's obviously someone I've grown up watched play and and, uh, and and admired in that sense. So I'm obviously when you get put in there, it's it's it's, it's a huge huge opportunity for me, and um, it was great obviously to play. But obviously Shane is Shane Shane's an amazing player. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, you got, every kid grows up. Obviously, want to play for their country and watching the World Cup at home. It's 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 something that you aspire to to get to, and obviously to to be in with a chance of of, of playing for my country in in the World Cup qualifiers and and helping helping help the nation out to to get there is is, is unbelievable. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Will O'Callaghan from Off the Ball. Yeah, it felt very comfortable and um, very natural to be fair. Um, we hadn't really worked much on it. Kind of come in this week and um, we've been doing bits on it, but it's not the same to went and play a game. And I think um, as a whole, it worked really well. And obviously, I felt really comfortable. And the two lads beside me helped me out really well. And again, it was a good performance midweek. But how important is getting three points this coming Saturday now? Yeah, massive. Um, I mean, after you lose a game, you want to bounce back as quickly as possible. And to have a game Saturday and, and a great opportunity at home to get three points is uh, is something that we need and that's something that we must take. Cheers. Good luck against Luxembourg. Thank you. Dave Kelly, please. Hi, Jared. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Jared, just following on from a couple of the points that the lads made there earlier, obviously, very inexperienced team that you're, you're, you're coming into uh, you know, a, few, a few nights ago. Um, how, how difficult is that for you? And I mean, ideally, would you like to be coming in and trying to you know establish yourself with a, a, a few more senior guys around you? Um, no, I don't think it's, it's it's any problem at all. Obviously, the squad has huge experience in that, so I don't think it matters who's who's playing in that eleven. It's it's the squad as a collective. Um, and they can give information to us on the training pitch and and in the change room. So I don't really see that as a problem as such. Um, we've got some unbelievably ex experienced players here, players who've made so many caps for the. For their, for their country and, and playing played played so many times for their club as well. And can you just give me a sense of the, the, the feeling around this club? Because obviously it's been a while, unfortunately, since we've had a win. Hopefully that will be put right tomorrow night. But people may feel that it, it's it's quite, uh, you know, that people are quite down around the place and stuff like that. Is, is that the case? Not the case in camp at all. I think there's a, there's a, there's a real buzz to train and there's a real buzz around the team hotel. Um, obviously when everyone comes in to play for their country, they're... There's, there's a great feeling of pride there too and I think everyone's just just really looking forward to this game on Saturday now um, obviously we thought we played we played well in parts on Wednesday and to put a, a whole collect performance in on Saturday is, is, is what we're working towards Thank you Ed Leahy please game you can do your best before the game to kind of to kind of suss out someone and, and and keep them at ease but obviously when the game comes it's different and obviously I think the lad's done really well and um, he's an amazing player playing for one of the top clubs in Europe and obviously you saw his quality there on Wednesday night and I think the lads dealt with him reasonably well and and, and, and did well in the whole part Uh, ahead of one of the games 
at the moment it's something that we haven't spoke about um, collectively obviously we've got a big game Saturday so our kind of focus is on that but it, it possibly is something that we w would willingly uh, be, be able to speak together um, about Thank you. And to end the uh, then we'll have Gary Knopton and Gavin, please. Yeah, Seamus is, is is brilliant. He's he's out he's outstanding for for a club and country, and obviously to be the leader he is and have a chance to play alongside him which I haven't before was, was was great and he really drives the team on and epitomises everything that, that Ireland is um, he's, he's obviously a great leader on and off the pitch and he's someone that you want to be playing beside Um, I suppose you could say that, but I think as a group, um, we know ourselves it's been coming. We've been unlucky as of late, and things maybe haven't fallen our way. And we got off to a bright start in the game. We were playing good football, and and the goal come, which I think we deserved. Thank you. And to end the live section, Gavin Cooney, please. Hi, Dara. Uh, just taking you back to the first question that I was asked here. Uh, did you think that we have any words of advice for you before uh, the game in Belgrade? Yeah, I mean Shane's been great with me all week. Um, He's kind of giving me little tips and advice and obviously when someone with that much experience and quality speaks you listen um, and for him to be be so understanding and, and, and so supportive and that was, was great for me and it, g it gave me a great boost of confidence. And without giving away too many state secrets what kind of tips did he have for you? What kind of things was he passing on? Um, it was just more tactical tactical stuff and obviously just being a leader there in the back tree if you've, you've, you've got a commander and, and, and you're the middle presence there so you've, you've You've got to make it felt throughout the team.